so it's, it's good news. Uh, the LCBO will be opening up today. So there was uh, unfortunately a strike that lasted for a couple of weeks, but uh, uh, the LCBO and uh, the union have come to an agreement. Uh, we've uh, increased the number of permanent jobs and there's uh, some nice pay increases for some of the employees. So I think everybody's happy at the end of the day, but it's certainly, it, you know, we must remember that our government ran on the platform of modernization of alcohol sales in Ontario. Uh, this is something we were very committed to. We ran on it. And Ontario is the only jurisdiction in the world really to have uh, the alcohol distribution system that we do have currently. And that will be modernizing. Uh, the LCBO will still be around. It'll continue to pay a great dividend to the, to the government of Ontario, therefore the people of Ontario. And uh, it'll just allow more flexibility with our modernization and allow convenience and I think it should also be noted that a lot of Ontario craft brewers, cider producers are going to have more platforms, more availability. Uh, so they are really excited by the expanded distribution as well. So I think it's good for, for everybody. I think everybody's happy uh, right now. So great news. Good stuff. All right. And good to see uh, it all back together again. Well, let's talk about last week, because I think this one is actually bigger than the LCBO, especially for Oakville in particular and Halton region. Uh, we have the Ford Motor Company saying that 1,800 jobs are coming back to the plant in Oakville. However, the difference here is, though, they're going to be making uh, trucks, gas pickup trucks, as opposed to proceeding or maybe delaying the EV revamp of the plant. So I feel like there's a good and a bad here. There's jobs but so much has been put into EV and so much of an emphasis has been made with the government pushing forward to EV. So what is your take on this? Well, I, I, I would uh, argue that it's good news. Uh, it's good news for the community. It's good news for, for Ford. It's good news for Ontario taxpayers. Uh, at the end of the day, you are right. Uh, Ford will be coming back here to Oakville earlier. So Unifor, the union, uh, is very excited about that. They will be producing the, the F- uh, pickup trucks here, right here in Oakville. Those are the best selling vehicles that Ford has. Right now they're being produced in Ohio and Kentucky, but they cannot meet demand. Uh, so there still is the intent to produce electric vehicles here. It'll just be delayed a couple of years. But I think with the changing of the assembly line in the next 18 to 24 months, it will allow for that easier transition in the future to electric vehicles. So I think this is a great win for the province. It's a great win for our community. It's a win for the union. It's a win for, for everybody, consumers. Uh, so I think it's great news that they're coming back to Oakville earlier than initially projected with the intent to, at some point in the next few years beyond, produce electric vehicles here. But in the meantime, as you mentioned, they will be producing uh, the gas-powered uh, F uh, Super Duty trucks here in, in Oakville. Is there any concern, though, in the back of your head with Ford changing their mind for this, doing this now, that, yeah, they're saying EV, but there's no guarantee. I mean, it is a private company, and that's not necessarily going to happen. Any concern? No, no, there's no concern there. I mean, governments have mandated certain EV production by certain timetables, so the companies will have to adhere to that. Uh, so I have no concern about that whatsoever. It's just market demand in the short run has slowed down on electric vehicles, but the long-term trend is very much in place. It's just, I think what you've had is the early adopters in the market. And as more and more infrastructure is unfolds in the province and more and more people are driving electric vehicles, it'll snowball. So I just think we're in that stage right now where there are perhaps a bit of a slowdown in electric vehicle sales relative to the last year or two, but the overall trend is definitely to the upside.